Hey, what's up guys? I know some of you probably have some holiday shopping in your near future, so the boys and I sat down and we brainstormed all of our favorite things for gaming, streaming, and creating YouTube videos. I took those things and put together a list of over 40 items for us to take a look at today on How To Tech. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech. And before we get started, I also wanted to go ahead and mention that 90% of the things in this list come purely from recommendations from either myself, my friends, or other creators out there. We also threw in a few other options that could be right for that gamer, streamer, or YouTuber in your life. For most of the categories, we've also tried to sprinkle in some variety in the price points to better help you depending on your budget. So without further ado, let's jump over to Amazon and some other websites and take a look at some really cool gift ideas. Starting first with some RGB. You can get some RGB LED strips, some little tower things. Um, this is great for basically anybody that wants RGB. This is pretty cool. And then here's a kit uh, to some that would go inside of a computer. I'm gonna have all this obviously linked down below. Then we've got the Stream Deck Plus. This is really cool for streamers and YouTubers. This just gives a bunch of buttons that can do some really cool stuff and the ability to mix audio with these knobs and some actual software that comes with it that's a really good option as well. This is a solid product for a streamer if you've got a streamer out there. Let's talk about SSDs. This is an external SSD, which just basically means it can plug into a computer, an Xbox or a PlayStation just with a USB cable. And this is great for adding in more games or for streamers and YouTubers to save extra footage on it and back stuff up. This is just solid for basically anybody. This is an option you're really not gonna miss with this. This is a good one. Then we've got the Elgato face cam. This is gonna be great for YouTubers and streamers that are at the computer constantly and need a nice webcam. This is just one of the best webcams that you can purchase at this price point, and it's better than a lot of just regular actual, you know, ch -ch cameras. So, yeah, it, it's pretty good. It's worth the money. There's also an Elgato Facecam Pro. It's not on Amazon right now, so I linked the search results for Elgato Facecam Pro in case it does come back, but th this is also just a solid option. This is just the 4K variant of the Elgato Facecam, and it's even better. It's actually a lot better than some cameras that are even five, $600 that don't just ch -ch -ch, but are actually made for video. So we're talking like DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It's actually a pretty decent option. We'll talk about this for just a second. This is something I actually really, really want. This is one of the items on the list that I haven't messed with yet, but I've seen and I just can't bring myself to spend $200 for myself. But if somebody would like to buy it as a gift, I'd be so happy. That's why it's on this list. Um, this is the Lumetric Time Wi-Fi Clock. Um, it's got a Bluetooth speaker in it. It can, it's got apps. It can do a bunch of cool stuff that you can pair with it. Show the weather. You can play music off of it through Bluetooth. The thing that I find really cool about it is you can integrate it with like social media. So you can do um, show likes. You can show um, subscribers on YouTube. You might even be able to pair it with something like Twitch and see your followers. That's really cool for a lot of people. So if you just like tech, that's probably a cool item as well. This is a really good headset. It's got a USB cable on the end of it. So this would go into a computer, not an Xbox or a PlayStation, just a heads up there. Um, they do have the option for the 3.5 millimeter. This is going to actually, um, if it shows the right picture, it still shows a USB, but it says 3.5. 3.5 is basically going to allow you to plug it into like an Xbox or PlayStation controller or say like a Nintendo Switch. We also have the Logitech G335. This is also a just a solid company making a decently priced headset. They have options for wired and wireless and even different colors. So go ahead and check that out and see if there's something in there that you might find useful for the person you're purchasing for. If the person you are purchasing for plays on Xbox, this could be a really cool option as well. Customize out a really cool controller with their favorite colors, put their name on it or their gamer tag. This could be pretty cool. And if you're on PlayStation, well, you can do something kind of similar and even Xbox users can go here if you want more customization. There's a company called Scuff. They make some really, really cool controllers. They're really customizable. You can add extra buttons on the back. You can change how most of the controller functions. It's just a really cool time here. If you want to customize stuff, go here. Being able to charge controllers is really important. Don't worry, PC people. We'll get back to you in a second. I promise. 
Um, but having a charging station for your controllers is really cool. That way you don't have to plug in with a USB cable. That's always annoying. Or if you're on Xbox, you know, you got to put batteries in depending on which controller you have. Or you could just buy this. You can get the rechargeable battery that goes in the back of the controller and then set it on a dock. It's charged. So there's some really cool options to keep your gamer gaming. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Microphones. So now we're kind of touching more back to the streamer content creation side. And even some gamers now want a nice microphone so you can hear what other people are saying. And this is a good budget option with some upgradability. And if I was starting YouTube uh, tomorrow and I had never done anything before, if somebody recommended this microphone to me, I would be more than happy because I wouldn't feel like I wasted any money. I absolutely love this microphone. And this is one that I recommend to absolutely anybody that only has about 60 to $70 to spend on a mic. And even some people that spend up to about a hundred and something, it's just a really good option. There is the Elgato Wave 3. This is kind of similar to that Stream Deck thing that we looked at earlier um, in the sense of it has that software side that we were talking about of being able to adjust audio, but this is also a microphone as well. So this is a decent microphone with really awesome software to make you or give you the ability to adjust things and uh, make it sound even better and, you know, do live stream mixes and stuff like that. This is the microphone right in front of me. I haven't been talking on this the entire time. I've been using um, my shotgun microphone, but for this portion, I am using the Rode Pod Mic USB. Rode sent this out to me. Um, I'm not making any money by saying anything about it. I haven't even made my review yet on this microphone. It's coming out soon, but this is just a solid microphone. I would just, I, I will stand on that. This is a good microphone. It's got the option for XLR and USB, so it's very flexible. You can plug headphones into it. It's a solid microphone and, um, if you got $200 in your budget, that might be a good option. If you want some flair, there's this microphone from Beacon. This sounds amazing as well, $280. It's got good software. You can adjust the microphone and really dial in what you're looking for. It's just a really good microphone. And now the king of microphones, and then I'm done talking about microphones, I believe, for the entire video. So you made it. You're almost there promise. This is the Shure SM7B. This is the go-to microphone for podcast, YouTube videos, live streams. It's a solid microphone. It is $400. The person you purchase this for will not be disappointed with this microphone. I can say that much. It's just a great microphone. Now let's talk about monitor mounts. If you don't have enough desk space, well, maybe a monitor mount would be useful. It's basically going to take the monitor from sitting on the ground or on the ground on the desk or the table, and it's gonna pull it up a little bit. Really neat, you can move it around and adjust. $40, that's not a bad price, and you can even find some that'll hold two monitors if you got a PC gamer out there with like two displays. So you can do some pretty neat stuff with that. Moving over to something else that's really cool is the customization you can get with dbrand. You can go into all of your favorite gaming platforms, whether that's Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, there's a bunch of options in here, and you basically get the ability to customize the crap out of a console. You can get different wraps and different plates for different consoles that really change the aesthetic and theme. And it's just a really cool option to spice up that console for your console gamer out there. Hey, uh, real quick, did you know that statistically only 2% of you out there watching this video are subscribed? Talk about an exclusive club. You might wanna you know, jump in on that. I don't know, it's just a thought. So let's go back to the cool gift ideas. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Camlink 4K. This is a good option as well for streamers and YouTubers. This lets them take their really fancy DSLR mirrorless camera and feed it into their computer. So this is really cool for stream quality and stuff like that and just recording directly onto a PC. It's a really good option. Some options if they don't even have a camera to pair with, if you got a decent size budget here, is the Sony ZV-1F. This is a way to, um, you take the camera, you get a HDMI cable, it plugs into the cam link, and now you've got a super awesome webcam for a live streamer or the ability to record directly to a computer for a YouTuber out there. And if you wanted to go a tier up, this is a really good one for YouTubers. It's the ZV-E10. It's gonna give you the ability to start changing the lenses, which is a really nice feature to have as well. And there's also different bundles out there for creators. So that's cool. Elgato Key Light Air is something that I love. I love the Elgato Key Lights. There's also a regular Key Light and a mini Key Light. And basically these are just gonna give you really good light for somebody in a video. This, I've got one here right now. Um, what they do is they put more picture into the you know space that you're filming and let you adjust your camera settings and really dial in those settings. More light equals a better video quality. That, there you go. 
That's that's the equation. Don't forget it. Next, we got the Elgato green screen. That's going to be great for streamers, possibly some YouTubers. Only 150 bucks. That's really neat. Um, this is cool. I was like, you know, what gamer wouldn't like a neon sign that says game zone? Um, there's different options in pink, purple, blue, um, even some that say game room. If you want to get crazy with it, because I would, especially if I was streaming on Twitch frequently, I would 100% get a custom Twitch sign with your person's username on it. That would be cool. You, you'd be awesome for this. You can get these personalized too. So whenever you go through the customize now section, you can go in and add their username and whatever else you want in your custom neon sign for them. Next, we got keyboards. I'm gonna go through a bunch of different keyboards very quickly. This is Logitech. Logitech's a well-known brand. This keyboard is $40. It's got the RGB in it. And that's about as far as it goes. It's a decent black keyboard with RGB. So it's got the fancy colored lights on it that, you know, gamers nowadays love. This is by Logitech as well. This is called the G Pro. This is going to be a mechanical gaming keyboard. So this is going to be, you know, a step up in quality. Mechanical keyboards, you know, are like, are the thing right there. And this has RGB as well. And this is just part of Logitech's pro line. This is a really solid keyboard here. Then we've got the Razer Ornata V3. This is a $60 keyboard with really nice RGB, has a wrist rest included, some media controls at the top, and it's just well-priced. This is called a mem Mechanica me me mechanical membrane. They spelled that weird. That's not on me. Um, and basically this means it just kind of feels somewhat like a mechanical keyboard. It's not a mechanical keyboard. That's why it's a little bit cheaper is because it's got those mechanical switches. Let's talk about gaming mice. Um, here's a really good $35 option from Logitech. Once again, Logitech just being one of those good companies out there that make decent products of multitude of price ranges. Here is a wired option from Logitech. This has got some extra buttons on there. So this is for you, you know, your gamer that wants to have a bunch of extra buttons on all their peripherals. That's that's a pretty cool option. And we have the Razer Death Adder. This is just a tried and true, like decent entry gaming mouse for $24. You're basically getting a solid gaming mouse with a uh, two buttons on the side here and uh, no ability to adjust the color and stuff like that. But it's once again, a really solid mouse for that price point. And then we have the Razer Basilisk. This is actually what I'm using. I'm just using the wireless version of it currently. So let's throw that up there so you can see. I'm not a liar. I use a lot of these products. But essentially mine is just the wireless version. This is the wired version with RGB. And for $50, it's a really good option as well. This is a very comfortable mouse for somebody with a larger sized hand. And then for your people out there that possibly are playing games like League of Legends or playing World of Warcraft and need a lot of extra buttons, this is a solid option at $77 currently. And it just gives a bunch of programmable buttons for that person that needs them. So that's that's pretty cool. Next, we've got the wireless charging gaming mouse pad. This is just a lot. Um, there's RGB, it looks like, around the side. We also have a Qi charger here. So basically you can set your phone down on it and your phone can start charging and you have a really cool mouse pad. And I, I understand, you know, some people are going to want different styles. They have some different options here for me to choose from. But that's why I also just decided to list gaming mouse pads as well, because maybe the person you're looking for has a sp specific taste or a particular thing that they like. And you can go through and find one for them with a really cool theme. Now, we'll let you know. I haven't met a gamer yet that has a large mouse pad that would say, you know, I'd rather have a smaller mouse pad. So if you can find a really cool big mouse pad with a cool graphic design on it, or maybe minimalistic black or white for those people that don't want a lot going on, these are awesome. So if they've got a small mouse pad, maybe think about upgrading them to something pretty cool with some cool design. So I link that here and there's just, there's a bunch to choose from. These are really cool. And it's making me want to upgrade my mouse pad right now. And I might before this video's over, who knows? And now we've got gaming chairs. I've linked this one just because of the decent reviews, it being a number one seller and the price being reasonable. Now I will say you might wanna pick your gaming chair based off of the aesthetic that the person likes. Also based off of the size, maybe you know the chair's not tall enough or the person weighs too much for the chair. Some of these chairs are built cheap and made more for like 
kids that are like 12 or 13 and not for people that are like 20. So maybe you adjust what you buy based off of that, but they have, you know, tall and large chairs and just different colors and a bunch of different options there. But this was just something to kind of jumpstart those creative juices for those of you that are looking to find something maybe in this realm. And the last option we've got here is a gaming desk of some sort or variety. This will be one of those things that I link back to just a full kind of like list of a bunch of different items. So it's going to depend on, you know, like how big of a desk do they need? Do they want RGB on their desk? Do they want to go for the overly gaming aesthetic? Do they want a desk that goes up and down? These are things you can decide. I'm just helping you figure out ideas. This one's on sale. It probably won't be, you know, four hours before this video's over, but maybe they're lying and you can still stag it for, you know, $63. But some of these are really neat. They have monitor risers built in, cup holders, and even places to hold a headset. So this might be something that you take a look at as well. That's going to be all for this one. I hope you guys found something awesome for that gamer, streamer, or YouTuber in your life. If you did, post a message down below on what it was. I'm just kind of curious to see what you guys thought would be cool for that person that games in your life. And while you're at it, don't forget to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like the video or subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.